welcome to uh, one of my other videos. This is where I'm going to show you how to cook up one of my favorite recipes. Uh, it is a very easy casserole that only needs about, let's see, wheat pasta, uh, some kind of meat like chicken, grilled chicken is what I'm going to use in this one, mixed vegetables, and various spices and other little things, and mozzarella cheese. Uh, this is a very easy recipe which can be altered quite a bit like you so using the uh, like I'm going to use Alfredo in this one you can actually use spaghetti sauce and make it like a quick lasagna so without further ado let's get on with this video and see what we need okay I can't take it anymore okay okay so here's everything we have we have the uh, classico Alfredo sauce this is the, it's actually one of the new ones, so it's a light version. We have curry for spice, regular pepper, uh, garlic powder, uh, sea salt. I use this a lot more than I do any kind of regular salt. Also comes in a nice little handy grinder. Then we have garlic powder, or onion powder. I might have got the two mixed up. Um, this is about three servings of mixed vegetables. Uh, frozen, so you'll want to at some point nuke those and warm them up. Uh, we'll be using mozzarella cheese, uh, usually about a cup to a cup and a half between the mixing, and then the uh, wheat pasta. You can use any kind of wheat pasta you like. This type is the Ritatini, which is the curly Q ones. Uh, you can use just regular macaroni also. Then you will need a um, baking dish. But you'll need that. And then you'll need a pot to boil and mix the macaroni, the vegetables, and the alfredo in. So that's the gist of everything you need for this recipe. So let's get on to making it. I can't take it anymore! Okay, in the pot... Dump in a lot of water, uh, not all the way full, maybe about halfway, a little bit more. And then what you're going to do is let it boil. You will put in some of the uh, sea salt, like I usually put in about three grinds. Let it get to a boil, add the macaroni, and then for, cook it for about nine minutes. Once that's done, drain it off, and we'll go on to the next step after that. I can't take it anymore! Okay, everybody. The next part of this recipe is fairly easy. All you're going to do is take out your Alfredo and really just dump it right in. And then use a rubber spatula and make sure you get all of it out. This might take you a little time. Once all that's done, <coughs> next step will be to Give it a good, slight mixing. Pretty much get a, any wooden spoon. And just start swirling it around so everything gets coated. Once it looks like it's got a nice little even thing to it, that's when these come in. Your vegetables. Now just dump those in. Don't have to be ceremonious about it. You just dump it right in. Give those a good mixing. You can put as much vegetable in as you want. I like about three servings. This way it's a little bit more healthy. Although, with everything in there. And what you want, might want to do is maybe add a little, a little onion. Garlic is good for you, even if it's the powdered, although the fresh stuff is better. And if you've never used curry before, careful, it can get a bit overpowering if you use too much. So put that all in, give it a good mixing, and your pasta is done. Next step is to put it into the pan and fix it up that way. So, let's continue. I can't take it anymore! Okay, for this section, 
what you want to do is you want to put a layer on the bottom of the pan of your pasta and alfredo mix so you might not want to put this too thick on the bottom depending on how you want to do it but once you got it all nice and placed like you want it next step is going to be to put some uh, cheese on you might not want to put a lot on you might want to put a little it's up to you uh, I usually just put a like with my big hands enough to give it a nice little coating so it will stick together and this is the finely shredded mozzarella so that's that then if you want you can put ham on it you can put chicken on it um, I'm using some grilled chicken breast and I'm just gonna sprinkle pieces every here and there so that's all set and now what we'll do is we will put on the last of the noodles right on top of it making sure you get as much out of the pot as you can there we go and just spread that right over everything try to make it as even to the top as you can because depending on what pasta you actually use with this kind of setup it can get quite big like if you use uh, elbow it can get quite uh, full because elbow is a smaller pasta you can use like this is rigatoni you can use a uh, Rotini, no, this is Rotini. Rigatoni is the pipes. But then the last step is a little more cheese across the top. And if you want, I usually do this. I'll add a little pepper. And I'll add a little more curry because I do like curry. Damn, my mother. She got me hooked on this stuff. <coughs> and then all you have to do is pop this in the oven for, I'd say, till it gets golden. The cheese melts and everything. And that's at about, I do it at about 450. So you just have to keep an eye on it. You can put it in for a shorter, uh, a lower time like uh, maybe 350 but just keep an eye on it make sure it doesn't uh, burn and after that what I do is I cut it up into eight sections put it all into uh, Ziploc containers that are about a cup and a half a piece and I can make about eight meals out of this so depending on how you cut it you can make quite a few meals so this is done I can't take it anymore Okay guys, that is my casserole, bake, whatever you want to call it. So with that, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Or if you have any suggestions, leave those too. Well, I do want to thank you for watching this episode, and I do hope you have a nice day. Thanks for watching.